Our society's only to wrap the modification of violence and privatization only break from the ideology of violence can be ruptured into all types of roads. Why violence is combined, violence from all practices, normalized by time, we've come to a lot of violence to shape our daily experiences. The practice of mental will be given capitalism, privatize everything, and marriage will start by why violence is so central to our identity, not just through mirrors, but through forces that produce such violence. Contingent ones of hyper reality, intricate hand gun, the media representation is picking hand gun as a savior, always preempting anyone from hurting you and saving you from the criminal. Although this state of fear is now accepted as reality, and we purchase it all the same sugar. We will shall be thought of this state of fear of so that we rarely acknowledge the hand gun as exists, what's the fear can't get exposed to the self with the fears to arm themselves with the very weapons that threaten them. The claims of identity by television where handgun figures are super dreams, effective bonds, sanitized by the media's final bonds, by handguns to protect ourselves from other people with handguns. Couple of impacts first. The preemptive is taken over the handguns part of a broader societal goal of destroying evil. We begin to demarcate populations that fit our construction of evil and thus begin to, uh, begin to preemptively otherwise individuals who fit our demarcations of them. Patriarch one. A digital enemy is childly fabricated. Every accidental feature is exercised. All emotion is removed. Crimes to prevent and force to take place without ever knowing who would have happened. All this eradication of evil evil today is pursued materially. It's coming to the reality of the higher level of the body is becoming an integral fetish system. Second, the simulacra offer that exists around us is focused on finality. It solidifies the linearity of time that makes things like death seem permanent. The focus on death as an event is the original hierarchy of the abnormal and reduces the human to a machine of utility that either works or it doesn't. Robinson is one. We have lost the ability to change death as for first metamorphosis of subjective transformation of the idea of biological death is actually an illusion of or yours, so it's got death, split the life and environment here, opposition to the division of life and death is the original opposition which other founded the exclusion of the dead. Notice that defines that we will be dead, the bottom of the death is the bottom of the sheet, combined with streets similarly. And lastly, the simulacra opera is infectious, devoid of true interaction and movement will have its frenetic energy redirected to elude the gears of capital. That means to strive to for the echo. There are two. Hyper reality turns of every objective we should come back by the screen. Last ability out of the glimmer of reality is nothing but accelerating the simulation. My society works towards the producing an energy restore the real escape. The white material protection is hyper real itself in the EA is nothing with a touch with power. Contingent to is the symbolic exchange. I advocate that in the United States private ownership of handguns ought to be banned as an act of absolute expenditure. The symbolic exhumation of the handgun is a departure from the symbolic order. And it is only through this that we enter into a process known as symbolic exchange, a process of childlike fascination, which the recognition of our interconnectedness occurs to the destruction sort plus reorients how we view production. Things become reversible. As we have taken, so too do we get back binary to gender, sexual life, life and death dissolve in the ways that as we watch the flames transform the hand handgun in the universe around us, Robinson too. The symbolic outside representation. Hits the bottom rapidly of the institution's capital system. There were societies without the social, they were based on networks of all ties. They were outside production because their social forms were based on excess, they expended sure and symbolic. Nothing stayed from nature without being returned. They were outside the logic of production. We were not born. They didn't come through initiation exchange. A lot of people did. And the ground where things are not arbitrary responses to intense discarding others. Demands for meaning said opposite. I also considered said it works best to replace by a different fascination. There was an absence of reproducibility to change objects. This is the value of the rib set out of use value. Subject to not attempt to master the object, except being analyzed by the church. It's become reversible. It's exchange of choice. Separation of maturity. This reverse linearity time. Which happens in the ground, such as time, sexual, marble, to see time moving forward, and modern and constrained around the ideas of killing, the additions to range around ideas of giving and changing, so all can change, refuses to set any separation of life and death. This is the process beyond the economic initiation, governs our relationship with the violence, violence, and this becomes a problem today. It's also a situation where collective science produces rituals rather than science of producing culture, and the symbolic exchange enters us into a oneness, no longer separated by the arbitrary classification of the capital, but embracing each other as beings as we dance around the fire. Rocks three. All differences are exchanged more reversibly. It never is. It is every discrimination is imaginary. The curse of the chair. It is a fragment of one of life through the way, thereby entering into a cycle, giving, receiving, and return. This is the key to bring down the system. And action on the plane of the real will inevitably fail. Only through symbolic action can we garner solvency. Bojo 3. We will not destroy the system by direct revolution. Political will everything is produced. Will it be back to the mechanism of war? Share, believe that we put an end to the system on the plane of the real. We must display that everything that's fear symbolic, sphere symbolic so that we can respond to death. Contention 3 is orientation. The role of the judge is to serve as a critical educator who endorses the examination of the epistemology in the context of power and Education cannot exist that so the conscious power therefore becomes crucial to be exempt the foundation of modern violence and develop strategies to alleviate this harm. To row. Education does not exist outside the <coughs> religion, power, politics, ethics, demands, and openness to be other engaged in politics, possibility through critical engagement. Education should uh, offer the opportunity to resist cult, equal assess, pedagogy, through objectivity, education, or rethink the ideological values to each educational encounter. And my methodology is around the state of fear which we live is focused around the material. We buy guns because we desire to take control when there is none. We ignore the symbolic power of the handgun, ensuring another atrocity will occur before we get to look at the material. We must first examine the symbolic implications. Rope it. Much of the set of five guns with the mark of the danger of the guns, but they're not their meeting symbols until we examine what guns represent the debate. Oh, Ray John Flair, yet another terrible gun crime leaves no closer to the world we desire. Guns are the fight sense control ability to protect oneself. What feels like a threatening world of one pointing gun to the feeling that you are taking control of the fight will not be won with all the battleground facts of figures, gun rights, or civil weapon. The conflict now tearing America apart without these first steps, we will not be able to find a solution, and therefore the world about its best liberation strategy from the shackles of civil war to providing oppression. We must neglect calls to the empiricism of systematic intervention and instead embrace imminence. That is to say, action without strategy. Bezner. The only possible engagement is a mode of diverticle which gives a no will, will be an endless action to collect language that makes the existence of paradox active for no reason at all. All one can do is keep up the call upon the emptiness which sustains history as an underview. Don't run theory.
One, if the neck finds something that uses about my app, they must mention it in CX to allow me to make concessions to them. That's what your fairness says, allows the neck to give concessions to CX. Key to the education allows us to focus on the substance of the debate. Two, reasonability comes first. User reasonability is a filter to allow me to uh, weigh the AC against theory in terms of this allows us to crowd out meaningless in terms of focus on the educational bit of the C activity. Three, I'll concede any and all reasonable slash generic DA links as long as they're checked across examination, but I reserve the right not to do so. Four, my banning, uh, my mechanism for banning is normal means. Five, only look to actual abuse, even if I have the potential to be abusive, there's no way to verify it if actually pull the trigger. That's getting an enormous argument because it ensures that people run theories and check on abuse rather than as a strat. I don't know how to <laughs> yeah. That's cool. All right. Ready? Yeah. So you defend a post fiat ban of handguns. Pretty much. Okay, so you defend through normal means? Uh, yeah, I would say that the system is key to bringing down itself, but not through okay. material fighting, yeah. only through recognition of Got the it. symbolic. Um, so when you say that we need a strategy to alleviate harm, um, but then you further that same method is irrelevant, that we should act without strategy, how do you reconcile these two differences? Uh, it's actually not a concept that needs reconciliation. The rule about is in place because of the ROPEC evidence. I say through, through the ROPEC evidence that the continuation and perpetuation of the status quo is the focus on material. Right. It's Jero, things Jero, like Jero, Jero the things like seems to say that we need material strategies for how we can sort of reclaim the, you know, the epistemologies of the oppressed in right. the and, and intellectual and, sphere. So how do you say that we don't need a clear method? I'm saying that I have a clear method. I just my method does not dabble in the material. The continuation of the status quo is because of a focus on material implications. We should act without strategy. It's not acting without. Uh, okay, it's so not acting without, without strategy. Acting without why strategy. did you choose to focus on handguns today? Because that's one the topic and two the best liberation strategy. That so I you're still bound by the material, material realities of the topic. Not on a post fiat level, no. But you just on said you advocate for the topic level. post fiat, yes. I advocate for the implementation of my advocacy on a post fiat level. On a pre fiat level, I'm I would say the topical education is probably good. That's why K debate should be probably constrained to the topic, at least somewhat. But that's just my pre fiat personal opinion, which does okay. not affect my. So let me ask you a few questions about the larger uh, context of your critique. Yeah. Um, what is the symbolic? Uh, the symbolic is anything that doesn't deal with the material. It is the value that so we attribute to certain items through right. not only cultural singularities, but through media representations Word. as well. I got that. Um, like that. So on your Robinson evidence, you say reversibility dissolves binaries. Are all binaries bad? Um, depends. Like, it's not that the symbolic exchange dissolves all binaries, it's that it erases hierarchized binaries, i.e. the white and the black, where an individual... So how do you decide what's a hierarchical binary? Uh, it's not for me to decide. It's when people enter into the symbolic exchange, they recognize, oh, hey, uh, we're all beings. I have no more molecular value than the person that I seem as okay. an inferior. So then why does that not constrain us from certain actions towards each other? Like, isn't there acceptable and unacceptable things that we should should or should not do for each other. Like, you mean in the status quo? Because, no, I mean, like, uh, yeah, as there's people, stuff like, like that. There's, as stuff like people, yeah, there's stuff that I certainly would not do, but a right-wing, hella conservative militiaman guarding the border from the illegals might not feel the exact same way, which is what okay. I critique. Uh, what do you do for the world? Uh, a symbolic nature. I ban handguns. Like, on the material plane, I ban handguns. That's all I do. And but what do you think the implication of that is? The implication? I, I mean, you're asking a very broad question. The implication would be the 1AC, which is a reversibility, i.e. a symbolic exchange, which allows us to recognize that we are all beings and our value is only what we attribute to it. I'm going to take a breath. <laughs> Good. Can the simulacra change? Uh, through symbolic action, yes. Through material interaction, no. It'll just be back into the cycle of the simulacra. Like, we have a strategy grounded in the real. It's only going to reinstate like the simulacra because like, okay. okay. Mr. Beggy, do you want me to find you on the stand where you 
prop that up. I'm okay. It seems like it. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I'm doing as well as I am. Okay, one more question. So, um, so what do you mean in the Robinson evidence what makes death seem permanent? What does that mean for, you know, after biological death, what does that constitute for a being? After biological, oh, the Robinson evidence, uh, the first piece of Robinson evidence at yes. least indicates that death is just a rearrangement of matter and a significance attributed to death. Is that not a significant a, event? It's not a non-significant event, but it's not the significance that the status quo prescribes to it, right? When people die, we, we're like, that is the end, that is the end of being, when in reality, many cultures around the world view it as just a continuation of a process of becoming. So not only are we creating a form of cultural singularity, but it is the original opposition upon which almost all of this were founded because everyone in their drive to escape death will carry out some very messed up shit. Like we will do horrendous things to make sure that we don't die. And the avoidance of yeah, a non-event is probably pretty bad. <laughs> I think it should be on there. The name of the file is Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the else folder. Thank you. I was getting scared. Uh, Alright, uh, I think we have one more question. Super disinvolved from high school politics, so I don't understand any of these references. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Is everyone ready? Great. Welcome to the Anthropocene, where extinction lurks behind every quarter, ecological extinction is inevitable and irreversible, the absence essential with the future, and just we will never even notice us plummeting towards our own demise and pain or destruction of the biosphere that we have created. The absolute on the future of the human fails to see the forest to the quickly disappearing trees as Cohen in 12. Warnings regarding an error set in the depletion of resources of the lake, as we know, our rest of the more sweet teeth, we said about that, as we peak everything, the logic of 21st century, our escape, star components, as our conception of perpetual growth, the new phase of unsustainability, present, which opposed to us, quote, the priest will sustain itself as long as possible, whatever, because we should have a system of solution, prolonged, independent, contract, homeland security, and the system of security have a killer. 
children, professional imaginary services just for providing the lessons are really secure in our home. The meme intense occupation resonates with the practice of disidentification and perpetual cognitive dysfunctions that come up because the acupash topic present or the psychopathic figure subjectivity refusing not only comforting the modification of the other, but also the later more repulse to other redundant beings. And banning handguns as a liberal reform and then as the underlying violence and criminality produced by capitalism and the anthropocene, they do not look to the future days of virtue view for their unregulated third world that's all in 15. The current politics are congregated under understanding underlying permanent demographic conditions to maintain optimism. We are told that the world can be transformed without altering fundamental structure of criminology should be driven by rigorous investigation of microcosm and the other one microcosm context. Uh, they share the industrial license where criminal markets are seamlessly moving into everyday life, structure and tailoring capitalism and dark web, bodies are instantly available. Everything from sex and handguns to fake medicines and rules to be increased very rare consequences for material, luxury to afford the elite, that's a powerful excess of poverty and for to the uh, criminality for the losers at the bottom. In the hands of the problems we face are too big for our current political cultural systems to Bringing criminal markets about them or one of these problems, direct results of the markets they shall live in a privatized economy, hyper idealist farmers, and criminal logical theory are a little more in incentives of adapting conformity to our inherited uh, and economic material circumstances. The majority actively solicited a system symbolic order, its intended security system as they sense themselves as vulnerable, isolated individuals in a competitive market, leaving us down and turning the electric public for representing where we are now, historical point A, which will give us clues to what we need to do with the historical point B, reforms to buy politics which you simply test on a big life, more comfortable point A, make this is the other true philosophy, nor true social science. And the apocalypse is not something to be prevented, but recognized as ongoing. We need to cut our losses and ensure we don't harm the biosphere more than we already have. The new context of the Anthropocene means we have new political responsibilities towards the non human world that come before ourselves, that come before things like reversibility, that come before all of these human centric notions that the effort lies upon in the symbolic order that only involves humans at the end of the day to swing it down 13. The problems of the apocalyptic theory has to be fully rejected is already here. Common struggles for food refugees, suspected social and eco ecological predicament of career as everyday life things have already been too late. The apocalyptic imaginary cult out to a dualistic view of nature and culture, simplification of the biodiversity, transformation, climate change. Humans and nature are co-produced, the affirmation of historical geographical co-production society with the triple sense of nature, the transformation of both society and nature has to be envisaged as perspective is against from thinking through a public city fire to politicize the environment, the non-human world, because the world of positive politicization, the anthropocene, opens up a train where different nations can be contemplated. The alternative is to learn how to die gracefully, the end is near with no tinfoil hats in sight. We either die in fear or live authentically and try our best to leave the earth intact. That source is rejecting the short-sighted human-centric theory of Bia that's granted in 13. The anthropocene poses a challenge not to absorb away life. The pre challenge the anthropocene poses made to be to our sense of what it means to be human. We face the imminent collapse of the agricultural shipping and energy networks upon which the global economy depends on a large scale life in the biosphere that's already on its way in our extinction. It seems she's extinction to give us profound problems to scholars see more work that else to introduce. How will arguments between object oriented ontology and historical materialism protect honeybees from colony collapse disorder? The biggest problems the anthropocene poses are those with the root of humanistic questioning. What does it mean to be human and what does it mean to live? What does it mean to life mean in the face of death? How we have lived to live, not uh, learn, uh, learn how to die now as individuals, but as a civilization, meditation, and inevitable death should be performed daily instead of fear my end. I know that I didn't need to worry because I was already dead. When I look at the Anthropocene, I see water rising up to wash out lower Manhattan. I see food rights, hurricanes, and climate refugees. The human psyche naturally rebels against the idea that it won't, be, it won't be addressed by buying a Prius. The biggest problem we face is a philosophical one understanding that the civilization is already dead. The sooner we confront this problem, the sooner we realize there's nothing we can do to save ourselves. The sooner we can get down to hard work adapting to our new reality. The role of the ballast to vote for the debater with the best brain of humanity's relationship to nature, the eminence of the Anthropocene, makes us our foremost educational responsibility as an ecological thought print in the Levin. Where is nature from? A class where I asked this question, students soon repeated there, immediately pointing out the window. I hope students would question dualist for dualistic world view. There's a clear division between the human and natural world. One examination of separation between humans and nature. Hope little truth as living beings were conceived through uh, you get two outsiders are. Lives grow and it's environment. As a child grows to so understanding a place in the world, she naturally maintains this sense of interconnectedness to the individual. She is part of a great uh, 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 system of life in this industrial world view where we see self serving ways to legitimize and strike behavior towards a more than human world of belief in dualism is forced. Now, let's go on case. Silly Whitley, why would you say try or die for the app and a critique of death? This may be a slip in the tongue, but there's a larger flaw in the case. Denying death act that impacts regrets, obsession over death, triggers all of their impacts as a turn to the case that's all the more 98. Advocacy is the denial that's the peak about death that don't see. It's still that that's compelling them to speak, performing a, a desperate memory of an omniscience, which does, uh, which does, uh, which does deny, revitalizing death or understanding make this about in the act of vandalizing it. Nothing can be more enlightened than this uh, megalomania which penetrates the truth of death. Death has not been repressed so much as it resignified a new complex productive ways. That legitimize a never ending analysis of it. The way that the what AC emphasizes uh, the death of AC permanent in the status quo right now, the Robinson evidence just says that uh, ultimately human death is uh, that we're going to be rearranged as different particles, and that's just a continuous.
continuation of life, however, his focus on what the truth of death may constitute it goes against all of his notions of deconstructing actual absolute meaning. This means that he has created a simulacra of his own of his own conceptions of death, which is a turn on the case. But also his obsession of death is misdirected through an especially pernicious way. Motor and symbolic construction reality causes ignorance to actual genocide and mass atrocities. He can never or never recognize the imminence of the anthropocene and its empirical realities. There are a few empirical realities in the world that we need to actually recognize that Motor is, uh, is sitting in the first world in the academy simply theorizing about things that he simply cannot address. That's fine in that 89. Bojar surpasses imaginative fusidity of even Foucault. He then proceeds to caution against bourgeois hygiene. No mention is made of one side, especially time accomplished against cholera, typhoid, smallpox, etc. Bojar resembles a bizarre cross between Christian science with lunatic communist conspiracy tyrants against water supplies. There is no biological estimate according to Bojar and the monstrosity of such a conception is like in light of recent payment of Ethiopia is purely humorous. And in response to the Sugarman evidence, the way that he shapes the simulacra as opposition to the gun. The media section binds a like, bias against guns, proves the app has an inaccurate depiction of the status quo simulacra, also preferred by evidence from 2015. A lot of mass shootings have happened since 2012, which has caused a meaning shift, meaningful shift, which also means the simulacra can change in relation to the real that's Land and Mary 15. The, man, the mainstream media doesn't like that. Culture of New York Times suggests that those who keep an AR-15 are decent uh, out of God because the New Yorker blade NRA supporters for uh, those killed at Sandy Hook, bad gun under sequels, bad guy. That's how the media sees it. Let's go down to the case on the Robinson evidence. He says that the first building is also How are there are a few binaries that we should uh, Probably keep in mind there are also a few binaries that we should not keep in mind. Yeah, the, for example, the liberal conception of a consent versus non consent as a reason why we should not rape people is probably a good conception of a binary because that uh, allows for orderly conduct between people that uh, allows for peaceful relations. However, the dualism between uh, nature and achievement is a bad dualism that we deconstruct is the uh, critique that we're pointing out here. So his act of reversibility is ultimately going to be why he cannot curb the critique, even if he says that reversibility solves the critique because this opens up the limits too far. We say that you should prefer ours. He says that we need to exhibit a liberation strategy, but he does nothing for real people. We actually we talk about empirical realities. You get uh, you, can you mind if I can keep the for a second? Yeah, sure. Okay. I just thought that was yeah. really cool. Can you just uh let me hit that lock? <laughs> I got you. Alright. Let's get it. Alright, let's go to the Blanel area. That's where you say the media uh, is actually biased against guns. Let's yeah. look at things like, you know, uh you, you say prefer this uh, evidence because it's inherently unique, right? Uh 2016 has been uh, pretty counterintuitive to this evidence. I mean, with the election of like, or with the possible nomination of things like Trump and the proliferation of Fox News in the right wing, how is it their intrinsic bias? In oh no! Like, one of the biggest against things, guns. one of the biggest things that the mainstream media that was held against Bernie Sanders was when he supported uh, a lack of gun control in Vermont to appeal to his constituents. The, right, and that was held against him by a very niche liberal base. I wouldn't necessarily right? call it a niche liberal base. That was all over CNN, MSNBC. You seem to think that Fox News is the only bit of the media, but it goes way beyond that. The New Yorker, the New York Times, we can constitute a lot of examples of where the media is actually fighting against All right, that's fair. Let's go to the eco pass. Okay, how is this mutually exclusive in the slightest when the Robinson 2 evidence indicates that he's involved right. exchange with internalize a reconciliation with natural differences, like with nature itself. Right. Our argument is saying that you are sitting in the academy as Beaujard. You cannot actually keep in mind the empirical realities. Our critique relies on the empirical statement of science that you reject that says that the end of whoa, the world whoa, whoa, is covered. the one to see a rejection of science? I mean, our evidence suggests that Beaujard has historically, and his son has historically uh, not endorsed scientific thought. He also, you also say that the fact that we cannot um, rebel on the plane of the real means that we should not form our political actions based on empirical realities. That is text from the 1AC. Okay. Um, but if you'd like me to answer the question, our answer is saying that you simply sit there and theorize we can do nothing to actually have people address the Anthropocene and realize that we have a new politicization where we need to have an obligation to change. That requires how, real action. How do I link offense into the rule about it? Right. You just have to show why your discourse, your method, the 1AC, is a better way to deconstruct a dualism between humans and nature, or show why the dualism between humans and nature is a good thing. I don't think that's true. I think our evidence indicts that, but that would be a reason why. That's why the text of the 1AC says the debater who best, you know, examines our relationship okay. between humans and nature. I got you. How do I reset the... Uh, okay. Yeah, just hit minutes and seconds at the same time. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I have
is going to be app with extensions, like an overview with extension stuff. Um, and then top down the AC. Yeah, uh, no, nothing new. Sit on your case. So app and then the uh, okay. Uh, yeah.
have to evaluate our all our all world units in the surrounding context of the Anthropocene, the world's top science is greater ecological disaster, irre irreversible and ornamental best. Biological extinction, humans are done for, but the rest of the planet can still make it if we don't screw it up. That means that we need material action, we need to appeal to material reality, because Baudrillard's three evidence says that we cannot answer the problems on the planet that are real. Uh, our alternative requires material solutions. This is an argument that I made by last week's I just conceded, which is the reason why he could never perfect a critique, but we are going to get to the perfect debate later. Also, he on today's he says that uh, he says something that's a uh, crucial linguistic uh, new link to the critique. He says that uh, on divine evidence that uh, when I said he has a, a, a ignorance of real problems in the world that the F is an escape from the uh, actual real real world to symbolic uh, through expo symbolic exchange. However, our Cohen evidence it has this sort of escape is a logic against the same logic says that we can drain the planet of all of its resources and then we can just run away to Mars or whatever new planet that we can not have to uh, drain the planet of all of its resources. It also says that we can escape away from global capitalism, which is a whole evidence that says that we are going to ban handguns in the first world so we don't have to see the global violence that has been caused by unregulated capitalism, which means that we can put a third, we can put a blind eye on the third world, but if we put a blind eye on the third world, we also see we don't see the pernicious effects that global warming's had on the rest of the world in these areas and also on these indigenous groups that live in the third world. These are the people that you're not paying attention to when you sit in the academy on your Ivy Tower, Ivory Tower, which means that you can never permanent critique because you don't take into account these material solutions. Now let's go from the AC top down. He says that he dissolves hierarchies, however, yeah, our argument is that you should not, not dissolve all hierarchies. There's a few good hierarchies that you can see there are just hats on this, but also on the sugarman evidence, he says that there this is uh, that he, they normalize violence using guns. However, and he says that Trump uh, that Trump is the reason for this. However, Trump is probably a testament to a larger issue with the human species. However, uh, and probably an issue with our modern way of life that we are trying to sustain. However, uh, you can accept the blade berry evidence. He's not answering the actual fact that uh, on news uh, on news channels you can see this on MSNBC, you can see this on CNN, you can see this in New York, you can see this in the New York Times. The, the media is inherently biased against guns. His arguments are not based on the actual notion of what the simulacra is now. But however, we need to look to material realists to understand the simulacra, which means that we cannot uh, absolutely displace everything from the planet real. His method means that we have to displace everything from the planet real, which is the reason why you cannot vote for the methodology of the affirmative when he says that the uh, role of the ballots to vote for a liberation strategy, even under a framework he can vote for because he's not liberating anyone. He's not only escaping from the logic that actually these people who are living in the third world and people who are actually oppressed are actually living in, they do not have the privilege of actually being able to escape in the symbolic exchange. And these are conceded arguments, but let's go on to the other concerns that are being because you can send the divine evidence. He's not answering as well enough. This says that we cause he causes ignorance to real violence when he says that we can uh, uh, say that the system that is, is, is good enough for weighing these issues. However, I think it's pretty clear to say that the genocide of people in the third world is, is probably bad. However, the uh, notion of symbolic exchange is not allowed to account for this, which is a bad reason why you should not vote for his evaluations. This is not a dualism between humans and, humans and nature. This is just an indirect to his methodology, but also on the dollar of He says that uh, uh, he, uh, he reformulates the consumption of death. However, our argument that is, it doesn't answer our argument. Our argument is that we keep talking about death in the way that we should redefine death and redefine death and redefine death. You are simply creating new static conception of death. When you say that we're ultimately all going to turn to particles and just go back into nature, that you are just simply redefining death within a static narrative. You should just death, let it be, which is our uh, which is our alternative, which is to learn how to die gracefully. We need to recognize that death is going to happen no matter what the definition is, but we need to be okay with that and recognize that we have new political responsibilities to nature that the F has not realized. He says that uh, time is cyclical, cyclical coming off the Robinson evidence. However, he is not uh, it's our dissent that says that there are probably some uh, like binaries in the world that are good. The liberal conception of consent and non-consent is probably a good conception so that we should not rape each other. We should have these regulatory abilities, which is the reason why we say that not all hierarchies are bad. We should be singular about what hierarchies we break down. Our world about is, uh, says that we should only break down the hierarchy of nature, uh, the nature of uh, nature human dualism, which is the imminent uh, educational responsibility in the intimacy, which is going to answer all of his uh, a role the educator and role the ballot arguments. He says we need a liberation strategy. However, I saw this best because I get material realities for how we can liberate the natural world. When he only talks in the context of humanity and how we can help us with our conception of death, but he never does anything to liberate nature in the first place from our human grasp, which is destroying it every second. Then he is not recognizing any new political responsibilities, and he is not recognizing the actual real mode of the political, which is necessary for us that cause real change. So let's move to the critique. He's conceding too much on the critique. You can send the Cohen argument in Cohen. He says that the high theory is stuck in the first world and that we do not have the privilege to actually theorize about symbolic exchange. Your notion of symbolic exchange can only exist within the debate rounds, but our notions about what we should do for the environment can, are appealing to people and we can actually have real change, which is something that's conceded from the, uh, from, from, in his last speech on the Swing It Out evidence. This is absolutely crucial. He says that we have a new political responsibility to the earth. However, he uh, says that uh, companies are currently destroying the earth as a sense. That's what we exactly what we're saying. We're saying that, uh, that, the, uh, that the political needs to realize that we have absolutely screwed up uh, the world around us and that even though that we are absolutely done for and that a uh, global climate change is absolutely going to kill humans that we can still save the rest of the world while we still have a chance we should make a significant effort to stop these approaches which is something that the one I see uh, sees that we cannot do it says that the political doubt cannot make these shifts however the belief in that we can is a sufficient reason which is why this link is also a dissent to the perm uh, but also on the perm debate he says that we should do both however you can't do that when I end that your methodology of what reversibility constitutes because that's his internal link is so why you can perm he also says do the F and then the L but however this is 
another link into the critique because our argument is that we cannot wait now. The Anthropocene is happening right now. Extinction is right here, right now. We need to act now. He says that we can use the act and just constantly theorize, but when does the theorizing end? When do we realize that his conception of death is right? When do we actually have the effect that says that we need to do something about nature? This is not the methodology that we call for when we say that we need to dissolve dualism in practical ways in an educational space. This is an educational, this constitutes nothing, which means that he doesn't get any of his parts. I've already uh, uh, won this sets on the Robinson evidence, so we can't uh, witness an internal link uh, to his part. You can also extend the whole evidence, which says this criminal logical approach is bad. When he bans handguns, that just is him turning a blind eye in the third world and our facts that capitalism is not on the world, which means that he can, will never actually solve the actual cause of capitalism. We, even if he concedes that capitalism is the root cause of violence, then that is not a reason why he solves capitalism. Our argument is that the actual material actions that does the one material advocacy of the one I see is bad for that case. Our whole evidence is very specific in a handgun. You can call the evidence after the route. Also, an ecological thought for argument that says that we need to solve dualism because any effort that doesn't solve the nature of uh, dualism divide, but only that divide is an effort not to actually recognize that we are going to die and that we need to be okay with that, and that is the only issue that matters. Okay. Cool. Good. Yeah. You see your body area as but still, you <laughs> have to lose our to the drug and switch was from this year to specifically say that a horror society, whether the whether your specific news sources talk about or whether or not they like guns is irrelevant. The point our society is literally oriented around commodification about the not only privatization of the material, but the privatization of handguns specifically, which is a unique reason why the inherent beings is still probably going to say the instance is all more and says that denying death is the least one in the session with death and the alternative avoids this. This is absolutely not true. He's considered that the ABC is about the indigenous cultures embracing death and how we can actually achieve that. He says the alternative escapes this, but it actually probably doesn't because the alternative and the AC methodology, or the alternative and the AC are pretty much like the alternative and the AC are the same. We both try to reconcile the fact that death is a non event. Death is imminent. Death is going to freaking happen. We both uh, acknowledge that, which is what's going to give me a little bit of leeway on the curve debate uh, coming up. Uh, he says he might have a switch as the book of these two gents after operation with the anthropocene, but he can see the one he can see the one get out of hominids early because it relies on a static structure of, of good and bad of authors, which he is trying so hard to reach. He's trying to erase the economies in the first place. Also, he he's considered that the app is a simulation app. I still recognize the material world I'm just operating through a symbolic action. He's considered that it is a link to the representation, not the methodology. Furthermore, he says that I can see that the because some hierarchies are good like the consent and non extent but he absolutely he made absolutely no answer to the uh, one AR answer that I made that says that Robinson does not, uh, Robinson specifically says that being have no desire to uh, harm or specifically rape each other. In the context of the one AC, you can see Robinson 3 evidence, which says that all differences are illusory. They are all perceived in the context of capitalism. That has given uh, absolutely little to no lip service. He's uh, not addressing the warrants within the one AC, which is really problematic because I'm uh, crushing the left one of the Ecopesque. He says uh, that I think that a uh, small key change cannot exist in the real world, but the Robinson do is that evidence is literally all about indigenous cultures existing in the real world and how they interact with their ways, of the lifestyles, how they interact with nature, how they interact with each other, and how we can strive to be more like them. Also, he has conceived my cross application with the rope again with the Beaujard 3 evidence, which says that the materiality replicates the status quo. Sean is very persuasive, saying that, uh, uh, making me a lot of extension, saying that materiality is the only way out, but he does not address the error of the argument that says materiality just recreate the basic problems. This is where I win the round on the perm debate. You have answered perm dualism, perm the AC, and then the alternative. You said the AC, then the alternative, because extinction is now, but you do not answer the third permutation that I make that says do the alternative till the links are non-unique, and then engage in the small case to the one AC. This is uniquely the key because it solves the apocalypse that's happening now that is indicated within the critique offense, and then it allows us to embrace indigenous way of life, which upholds a symbolic interaction with the nature so that we are able to peacefully coexist with nature. Also, you can see the offense that I believe to the your world about the Robinson two members, which says that we give everything back to nature, uh, and you also because you cannot include your role about by saying, <laughs> but yeah, which says that action without stretch is the only way out. But I mean, I have offense not only to his role about mine as well, he doesn't make any offense into mine, which means that the offense is pretty much like reverse causal. It's linear. Oh, this room is phenomenal. Uh, I don't judge a lot of LD rounds, and I'm un unaware that this is what LD has become, and it makes me so happy. Um, I So that being said, I, I thought y'all did. Did great. I, I ended up voting negative, um, and I think that I think that you're the problem with the last with the affirmative speeches is that there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of offense that I don't think the alternative solves for, um, which I don't think is necessarily like at a capital teacher's level true. But I think that the way that this argument goes down. So I'll go through kind of what I thought the offense in the round was. Um, the question of if all binaries are bad or if only some binaries are bad uh, was the first thing that I thought about. Um, 
And I think it's true that there's no response to this argument that Robinson's like inherently people don't do shitty things to each other, but it's only when you impose, you know, semi lacquer upon them uh, that, that 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 happens. Um, so I don't really think, so I do conclude that uh, the consent arguments are not offense against you, but I think that the way that this kind of gets leveraged later in the debate um, as to how, if it's true that, you know, the binaries that the app disrupts beyond just the human nature one are ones that should be disrupted, um, that kind of begs the question of the impact uh, to like the Anthropocene versus kind of capitalism writ large. And I, I do think that there's some inroads into your ability to solve capitalism writ large um, and I do think that, you know, if everyone died gracefully, uh, that could solve large parts of the Anthropocene. Um, the second is this ivory tower argument. And this is why I think that there's like some defense against your ability to solve. Uh, uh, so I think that by itself, this argument is not super persuasive, but I think that you, you were doing a good job of contextualizing it to the Anthropocene, right? So this, so I thought your argument is the, is a smart argument and the correct choice to make that, like, you know, Robinson is citing indigenous cultures, the way in which they relate to death, right? But his argument is about climate change, uh, which is a relatively new phenomenon, um, and the way that that shapes uh, how we should interact with nature, which means that even if the, even if the affirmative, uh, you know, is uh, in tune with indigenous cultures and the way that they relate to death, that doesn't uh, kind of conceptualize the, the new relationship to nature that we need because of the crisis of the Anthropocene, um, and still seems human-centric to me in some way. Uh, so uh, additionally, the, the evidence, uh, the evidence talks about like the ways in which Boucher talks about um, like uh, famine and, and I think it, I think it says Ethiopia. I'm not sure, um, but like but like all these all these problems happening in the third world. And I think that well, you have an argument about why it would be potentially good if a symbolic exchange happened. I think you need to address more directly the the press that it's not accessible, even if it's you know theoretically good because it is you know academic. It is ivory tower, hard to export uh, as a way. Uh, but I do think that the you know. Given that the way that you contextualize the affirmative as like kind of the same as the all, or at least in terms in terms of death, um, then I think you know, in order to win the permutation, you have to also contextualize those death arguments to nature, right? Right. Um, okay. If, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So then the warming arguments. I think really the only by the end of the day, the only response that I find persuasive um, is the permutation, which I'll talk about at the end because this is the, the final part of my session. Look at the permutation. Uh, the permutation you go for is do the alt and then the affirmative. Um, I think that the alt solve. I don't. I don't think that you have an argument that the alt doesn't solve anything. Okay. Uh, like I don't think you have defense or offense against the alternative because um, you're going so hard for the permutation. So I don't understand what the net benefit to this permutation is. You know, if we were to all die gracefully uh, in order to solve the Anthropocene, I don't know then how handguns are relevant to anything. All right. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I think that. I think that had you, I think you should have gone for the like perm do both and just been like, yo, there's fundamentally no difference between these two positions. It's just a question of how we come to articulate them. Um, but given that you do go for this, this like all and then half permutation, um, I do think uh, that you need more on point response to some of these rhetorical criticisms too to make this persuasive. So like the escapism argument, this seems exactly what like like what this permutation is, right? That we should, you know, all we should be concerned with the Anthropocene, and then once we do that enough, we can escape. Right? Um, which seems to be that logic of uh, get off the rocker or, or, or whatever uh, that justifies you know capital exploitation. Okay. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was a fantastic debate. What, what year are y'all? I'm a senior. Okay. Junior. Junior. Yo, you should uh, you should hit me up. You you should look at uh, Indiana University okay. when you're looking for schools. We got a debate team. My name, me, and my partner Reed Bowdry are in Duluth exclusively. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> my arts. Our Good arts. stuff actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where you're going, but if you want to, you know, 360. Yeah, I'm dedicated to Lane, but I'm um, kind of trying to start a policy. Okay. And Leha? What? Leha, you said? No, too late. Too late? Okay. Um.